Hi Floss Tube. this is Sharon Clark. Uh, I'm Jen Stitching Niche's sister. You met me on her 20th Floss Tube video. Uh, this is uh, after we went to Katrina's retreat. It's actually about a week after we went. Uh, I'm going to uh, introduce myself. I'm going to show you my haul. And then I'm going to show you my whips for the ones that I'm going to be working on uh, that I want to finish this year. So, uh, I started stitching in the early 80s. Uh, my mother introduced us to cross stitch. She made us, you know, stitch it right, do it right, be neat about our work. I've stitched a lot over the years. I do a lot of crafting. Um, my Instagram is at Clarkie's Crafts. If you want to check me out, I uh, do crocheting, cross stitching, zentangling, beading. I just, if you try if you want to I'll try anything once at least um, I love to stitch Lizzie Kate uh, I think you can see one right up there this was done by my friend it says I know let's see, I know that birds have little birds and fish have little fishes but why don't sinks have little sinks instead of dirty dishes and that's in my kitchen um, and then there's a couple of things over here I did the um, you can see that it's very hard to see but it's a uh, magnet of July it's one of Erica Michaels um, so I stitch a lot uh, not as much as Jennifer Jennifer does a lot more stitching than I do I uh, do crocheting and everything else so right, different things so we went to Katrina's retreat in Franklin uh, Tennessee and on the way we stopped in Decatur at uh, Cross Stitch Peddlers and so I want to show you the haul that I got from there and then the haul that I got from Katrina's. So the first thing is, like I said, I like Lizzie Kate. So here's my first thing. It's USA Squared. I, for some reason, I was on a really trip for houses and birds. So you'll see a lot of those. And then this is the other one I got. The Meow Flip It by Lizzie Kate. And then for some reason, this just was so cute. I don't know if you can see that. So cute. They're little birds. It's uh, Myrtle Grace Motifs. It's called Singing to the Choir. That is just so cute. Okay. And then I really like these little little candle mats by Prairie Grove Peddler. This one's American Sheep. I have a sheep fetish. Yes, I know. I'm addicted. I love little sheep. And then lighthouse I don't know it was just so cute I really like it oh, and of course I have a, an addiction for snowmen Jennifer loves Santa Clauses and I love snowmen and then a cat lover's heart by Sika and company so you can focus on it I'm trying ladies and then this one, I got it for the little bird right here on the little birdhouse. I could just stitch that thing by itself. It's Fall Basket by Imagining, Imaginating, designed by Diane Arthurs. Isn't that gorgeous? Gardener's Joy by Bobby G Design. Again, I told you, birds and houses, for some reason this trip, that was my thing. And then we went to um, one of the fabric stores, and I really, I'm sorry, I don't remember where the fabric store was. It had a lot of fabric, and I, I love sunflowers, and I found a couple of cross-stitch things there. The Ultimate Sunflower Book, it has a bunch of sunflower patterns. Look at that 80s shirt. Um, mainly I got it for the, um, where is it? This pattern. Let me see if I can open it up a little better. Again, I don't know. Birds and houses. And then this one. So at the retreat, I met one, two, three, four, five women from the. Um, Nashville area and four women from the Memphis area and I had a really good time. We all had a great time. They were great women. Um, 
I, I don't know. It's just, I had so much fun. Uh, we stitch, the way Jennifer and I stitch is we stitch on a different project, project every hour. So the first day I stitched on nine projects and the second day I stitched on nine projects. I didn't finish anything. Uh, J Jennifer and Lisha did, but I didn't finish anything. Um, but I made some progress on a lot of things. Then, of course, you have to shop while you're there. So I shopped and this is what I bought. I've heard that he has passed away. It's really sad. Um, but I saw these light bulbs and I had to, or the Christmas balls, and I had to get them. Isn't that gorgeous? I have one of his crosses too. I really love it. Haven't stitched them yet. Now, this one is um, Sunflower Farms. And of course, there's the little houses and the sunflowers and the little girl right there. She's really cute. I'm sorry. There, I love her little dress. Bees and birds and sunflowers. And look at the little crow with his hat on. That is so cute. Alright. Now, I love Amy Brecken. I met her. She is a wonderful woman. She is so funny. I love her. I have a lot of her patterns. Keep calm and marry on. And then, like I said, I'm a snowman fanatic. I love this one. It's really hard to see. And then, I'm also a mathematician, so these little motifs like this that are symmetrical really make me happy. So this is Sonata One by Abby Lane Designs. Isn't that gorgeous? So that was my haul. I actually had a couple of fabrics, which I can't find right at the moment. I buy fabric just to buy fabric. Then I find a pattern to go with it. Um, I have lots of linen fabric. I have lots of Ada fabric. I have lots of patterns. I um, sat down last weekend and went through and I have over 300 patterns. Not starts, just patterns. So, um, The next thing I want to show you is the one finish that I've had since we got back, uh, I showed you a few finishes on Jennifer's thing. Um, I might do a, a mid-year review with all of the um, things that I've done this year. But this is the one thing that I've completed. Blessed are the meek. It's by Little House Needlework. Here's the pattern. Let me see if I can get it up there. There's the pattern. I stitched it with um, DMC on this fabric, and this is a silk weaver fabric, silk weaver fabric, wandering ivy. Isn't it cute? My mother loves the little red bird on the fence right there. She thinks it is so cute. Of course, I am the liking it for the lamb there. Now, the other thing, right now I'm working on a stitch along. Hold on a second, I'm going to pause you. I went and found my fabric. So here's one of them. It's an Ada cloth. Let me back up, see if that'll work up a little bit. It's blue, I love blues. It's really soft, I really like this one. I think it's an Ada. Yeah, it's an Ada. And then, of course, like I told you, I buy fabric just to buy fabric. Isn't that beautiful? It's got blues and grays and browns. This size is pretty cool too. Kind of hard to see. There you go. That looks pretty good. Alright, so like I said, I'm working on two stitch alongs. The first one, I'm stitching along with my sister Jennifer and Lisha and Bridget and Stitchy Nurse, I think. And it's the Ose Can You See? And as you can see, like I told everybody, I have to take it out twice. I stitch it twice. That fish is in the wrong place. I've got to move him down one. I have to finish the submarine. And then finish the two fishes. And then put in all the eyes on all the animals. And then I will be done with this one. So hopefully next couple of days I'll finish that one. And then I'm doing the stitch along with Katrina on the uh, Amy Brecken 
snowman. So there's January. Oh, let's see. There's January, there's February, March, April, May, and I'm working on June. I just got to finish his head and hat, and then I'll have to do July. So, of course, I start July on the 18th. I do a new start every month on the 18th, and so July's man is going to be this month's new start. Now, I, like I said, I've been stitching for a long time. Um... I like Lizzie Kate. I like Amy Brickin. I have a lot of Cross-Eyed Cricket. I have a lot of um, Just Nans. Uh, I stitch a lot of Lizzie Kates. I stitch a lot of different things. Like I said, if it shows up, I'll stitch it. If it's, you know, some things that I don't like, I'll stitch because somebody asked me to stitch it. So, that's how I am. Um, what I want to show you next are my old starts. I've started these 2015, 2014, 2016, somewhere around in there, and I'm going to try to get all of these done this year. So the first one I'm going to show you, and this is from, the sticker on there is from when we did, uh, we were at Silver Needle, and we had picked six projects, and we were processing through them, or nine projects, and we were processing through them every hour. So this was project number six. It's Little House Needlework. It's Robin Hood and I am not a sampler person but I saw this and fell in love. I love Robin Hood. It's one of my favorites. King Arthur and Robin Hood are my two favorites. Um, so there's the pattern and this is how much I've gotten done. I uh, It's really hard to see. Let me see if I can get this behind there. If you can barely see it, oh, that didn't work. Let me see. Let's try this. There you go. So, um, what I'm doing this month, I did May with Stitch Mania, so I stitch a new project every day for 18 days. And then June, I wanted to stitch, I wanted to complete 18 projects in June, and I completed. I think nine. So this month I'm doing, I'm stitching on every whip uh, for the day. So this was yesterday's whip. Yeah, yesterday's whip. And so I finished, I did a little bit of the border here and I put in the clouds yesterday. So, and like I said, I've had this one for years. I don't know why I haven't worked on it, but I haven't. Um, then while I was there, I saw Tuffet's Covered. It's a four-part series from Just Another Button Company. And I have completed part one, which was the top part right there. And I'm working on part two, which is that part right there. Part three is this bit here, and part four is that bit right there. So, let me see if I can get a better look. focus. I don't know if you can see right here. There's a spool of thread with little sheep in it. So let me show you the pattern. The stitch. What I stitched so far. Of course I'm using DMC floss on natural linen. So let me get the light on it. Can you see the little sheep? Aren't they cute? And there's Tuffet, and I'm working on the basket right now. So there's a lot of big empty spaces, but what's going to happen is you're going to be putting uh, buttons on there and little postcards and stuff. It's really cute. Um, the next one is Hang 10 by Raise the Roof. It's 10 pieces of furniture. I just cannot get that light on there. Let's see if I can rotate this a little bit. Does that help a little bit? Maybe so. 10 pieces of clothing on the line. I got it as soon as it came out, and it came out in 2007. I stitched on it in 2007. And 
you find where it is on the fabric. That's all I've stitched. Which is one leaf on the pine, tr the palm tree. I think it's st stitched on the call for fabric, which is let's see, a 32 count vintage charcoal linen by Lakeside Linens. It's either thir it's either 32 or 28. Most of mine's done on 28. As you can see, I wear glasses. I got old. I had a benchmark. Went from no glasses to bifocals. Now, okay, this one. Now, Jennifer and I talked about this one on her video. Ooh, the light's bad over there. Sorry, let me turn it back. I didn't realize. I bought this pattern, this kit. Let me be more clear. The kit incl include the fabric, the floss, the beads. I bought it for between five and ten dollars. The whole kit. It was at Hobby Lobby, and they're reduced for quick sale. Reduce, reduce up at the front. I stitched the front part of the dress here. Not much. I got qu quite a bit done on the original fabric, which was a linen. It was a not a very pretty linen. And then last year at um, the Franklin Retreat. They talked me into changing my fabric. So, I changed my fabric. And I'm using, and I really can't tell you, I'm not good about the fabric, I'm sorry. And as you can see, I love blues. But, let's see, I can turn it, let me show, oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump it. Turn it to where you can see it. I had done all the yellow and gold right there in the middle. Oops, sorry, don't look at my messy kitchen. Does that help? There. I'd done all that on the original fabric and then took it out. And so now I've gotten a little bit of that in the pole. And there's working on the flag. That's right around her um, waist where she's holding the flag with her arm. I will try to get better pictures. Okay. And then I'm also working on Tiger Lily. You see the towel right there? I can't point to it. I'm not pointing the right direction. My mother crochets the top of those things and you hang them up and it's your dry rag. I love that. So I did Tiger Lily and I can't find my picture that goes with it. But this is um, Tiger Lily and this is one of the Charles Crafts sponged fabrics, you know, there's nothing on the back and it's like it's a uh, sponge, it's a linen. I've got a lot done on her. Okay. And then um, when we went to uh, Silver Needle, this was one of the patterns that was uh, from across the Cricut collection. And this was the pattern that everybody got to stitch on. And I had a hard time with this little pumpkin guy in the middle. The outer edge has two different colors. And on one side I did two different colors. And on the other side I did the same color twice in columns and had to pull it out. So, as usual, I stitched it twice. So here's what I've gotten done on it. Oops, that's not going to show. As you can see, oops, sorry, I'm learning. I got him. I just gotta finish his eyes right there. And that came with the threads and the fabric. Now the little guy was supposed the little black pumpkin was supposed to be French knots. I'm sorry. I don't like French knots. I'd rather bead or cross stitch. And Miss Alicia had some I think it was Whisper. And so he's a little fuzzy. Oops, sorry. It's a little fuzzy cat. It's kind of hard to see. So I've worked on that. I did that in an hour. The little fuzzy cat. And then um, I was in the EGA when I was in uh, Lafayette. I lived in Lafayette, sorry. I lived in Lafayette, Louisiana for a long time. And um, 
I was a member of BGA, and we went to, I think we went to an ANG, ANG meeting in Baton Rouge, and this lady was doing a, um, oh, I can't remember. She's showing off all her stuff, whatever that's called, a bo uh, trundle thing, and her name was Carol Ann Higginbotham, and this is black work. And I love black work. To me, black work is just back stitching. And the pattern, when you look at it, each each little piece has a number. And then that number, you have to go look up, and it tells you how to do that pattern and what color to do it in. So there's black, gray, and gold is what's being used here. And this is what I've done so far. Oops, am I on the right side? Yeah, I'm on the right side. So I've worked up there. You have to draw the picture on your fabric and then you have to stitch it. So, see there's the light gray and the black. Isn't that beautiful? It's really hard to do it in small though. Some of the spaces are really small, but it's really cute. And then the uh, last thing that I'm going to be working on is um, so Lizzie Kate, Six Fat Men. Turn this a little bit, see if that'll focus. Nope, it won't focus. But this is the one I'm working on right now. Snowed in. It's a lot of white. And this is, this is, um, I don't remember. I bought it at Silk Weaver. In the package, it's the printed on the front fabric. And I have completed the first box which is Snow House and I am working of course that's uh, the box was already done and half of the blue shovel was done the blue square in the corner was done um, and then this month I've done finished the blue and started on the white there again it's a lot of white for this piece so those are my old whips the whips that are a couple of years old or older now um, I'm working on, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong corner. I'm working on um, more whips. I have, I think I've counted up. At one point I had 30. I'm, I'm less than 30 now because I actually have to start repeating. Um, this month, like I said, I'm working one project a day, on one project a day for the month of July because I'm off for the month of July and then I go back to work in August. Uh, school starts back up. Um, I have less than 30 right now which is great because I used to be a one pattern person stitch one pattern move on to the next one and um, my friends talked me into doing two or two or three and then I got talked into stitch mania and it's like it just takes on a life of its own um, I'm really happy about stitching I'm really good at stitching I love to meet up with people and stitch with them uh, the thing is when I'm stitching I'm stitching if you, you've ever seen me at a conference or a retreat, I do a lot of stitching. I don't do a lot of talking. I talk a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm there to do something. Um, in Jennifer's video, by the way, we talked about some of the things that I'm proud of, most proud of, and I wanted to show you the first one. I can't find the other one. Mama has it in storage. we got to find it. This is the Rose of Sharon. By Mirabilia. Uh, there we go. It's on. It's funny. You see this this linen. I bought this linen when Patrick was a baby. He's 22, 23 now. And I, I did the Noah's Art by Precious Moments on the linen. So I bought the linen and did that. And then I had enough linen left over that I did her. Now she took me about 10 years to finish. Uh, there's a lot of color change in that dress. And I'm not going to tell you where, but I've dropped my pink highlighter and highlighted some of my dress with pink highlighter. I've stitched some of these pieces more than once. Yes, I do stitch more than once. And there is my pattern. Now I want to show you what my mother made me do. My mother made us do the back and make it neat. So this is the back of my pattern. 
And I'm not really happy with the back of this one because I don't think it's pretty. But that's because there's a lot of color change. You should see the one that I did for Jennifer, the one that's an all over um, full piece uh, White House. That back's really ugly to me too, but she says it's not. So there's the back. And there's the front. I haven't got a whole lot of framing done on it yet. I want to get it and get it framed. I want to get a beautiful frame to go with it. So Jennifer's supposed to help me pick out a frame. Um, I'm going to see how y'all like my video. Let's see what Jennifer thinks about it. Um, if you like it, I might do another one. I hope to do another one. And in the next one, I'd like to show you my whips from Stitch Mania. And then... Um, look at what I've started new, what's going on, what's my finishes. Uh, I hope to do another video in a couple weeks. I'm not gonna, I'm not really good about sticking to a pattern. I set schedules all the time. Never stick to them. Jennifer sets schedules and stays with them. I set a schedule and halfway through it I get tired. I'm a Gemini. You know, we're flighty. Uh, hopefully you'll like the video. Thank you for visiting with me. Um, I also have a blog. My blog is um, Clarkie's Active Projects at blogspot.com, and my Instagram account is at Clarkie's Crafts. So if you're interested, you can check those out. I try to blog once a month. I try to video blog. I'm going to try to do floss tube once a month. Uh, some days I don't, like, for example, I think I blogged in March and then again in June. So but I'm trying to be more consistent. So. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed what I did. Thank you so much.